if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm just going to prime my eye with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then now I'm going to take Maybelline's Color Tattoo 24 Hour. This one is in, what is it, Electric Blue. So... Now with any flat eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to use my e.l.f. And then I'm going to take color tattoo, Maybelline's color tattoo um, pigments. And it's just a royal blue. So yeah, I tapped it to the cap and I'm just going to take some of the eyeshadow. And you always want to tap off the excess because you don't want too much because that's how you get fallout on your face. And with this eyeshadow, what you want to do is you want to pack it on versus like sliding it on. Or I don't know what you want to call it, but like you just want to pack it and that way the color and the, the pigments stays on the eyeshadow really well now that we have that i'm gonna take my coastal sense um fluffly brush so yeah i'm gonna take um urban decay naked eyeshadow I love that color as a blending color for my um eyeshadow so i'm just gonna blend it out so that the lines aren't so harsh And I'm going to take Urban's Decay from the Naked Palette 1 Gun like Really Shimmery Gray. I'm just going to lightly tap it on there because I don't want too much color. And then I'm going to tap it off the excess. And, just, and with a very light hand, you just want to slowly put that in the crease. And a little bit on the outer corner as well. Just a little bit. Yeah, because we only want a little bit of that hint of that gray in the crease. We don't want too much. Kind of like a gradient for, from the raw blue to the gray a little bit. So I'm just going to keep blending. I think I'm going to grab a little bit more and put it on the outer corner. So after that, once we have it like that, I'm going to wipe the brush off on a clean towel again. Because I don't want any of the uh, color, like leftover color on there. Because I'm going to now go in with the naked eyeshadow again. And I'm just going to use that color to blend the uh, gray eyeshadow out. As you can see, the color, the royal blue has kind of like faded a little bit. Some of the color have might have like blended out or faded a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with that royal blue with the same flat eyeshadow brush. Tap off the excess and just pack on the color on the center of the lid. I don't want to go too high up. So just like that. And then with an elf smudge brush like this one. I'm going to take that into the gunmetal uh, gray color and then we're going to apply this. Now I'm just going to apply this to the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and apply this to where we have that open area. And then with my pinky I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the white shadow base. I'm going to take MAC Mineralize Eyeshadow. This is Bright Side and Gallery Gal. Yeah. And it's a really old, old mineralized eyeshadow that I had for the longest. As you can see, I've like hit pan on the white part. So I'm just going to take this white shimmery color and apply that to the inner tear duct. And apply that right in this inner tear duct where we apply the white shadow base. So I'm just going to go apply my eyelash and mascara and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I already applied my mascara and um, eyelashes. So now what I'm going to do is just take this L'Oreal liquid liner and I'm just going to line the top um, lash line with their false eyelashes. Yeah. So this is optional. I just feel like doing this for this look because I'm not going to do a wing eyeliner. And doing this also helps um, make the eyelash look a little bit more natural, like it's your real eyelashes. Now 
So, hey ladies, so now I'm back. Um, I just finished putting uh, the rest of my face makeup, I guess. So I have on um, the NYC Sunny Bronzer. So that's what I have uh, for my bronzer and then for my cheek, I use Milani's Coralina. And this is really pretty core color right here. And that's what I have on my cheek and then for my lips, I use Revlon's Matte Lipstick in Pink Pout. So that's the color. I don't know if you guys can see it. For my foundation, I guess just in case you guys were wondering, I already had on uh, Revlon's Nearly Naked Foundation. This is the only foundation I put on. I usually mix it with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid because sometimes I feel like the the MAC Studio Fix Fluid is kind of like drying on my skin. And this gives me more of a dupe. So yeah, so this is pretty much it for the makeup. I hope you guys uh, find this useful or at least enjoyable to watch because I know I'm... My videos are kind of, uh, but anyways, thank you for watching. And as you can see, Miss Audrey right there is, is going to start crying. So I had to go. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and, and um, subscribe if you guys haven't. And so until my next video, bye guys.